practice of law is a noble profession. We work hard to become lawyers. We work hard to be lawyers. We get to help people for a living, and that's something to be proud of. But being a lawyer can come at a cost. We face pressure from all around. To get clients, to keep clients. To bill hours, to always be available, to make money, to make partner, to close that deal, to win that trial. To be strong and tough, to never, ever show weakness. And so we sacrifice time with our families. Time for ourselves, our eating habits, and our mental health. We put on a brave face, we push through. And we tell ourselves the pressure, stress, and fatigue are only temporary. That we don't really need help or support. Or we tell ourselves that if anyone knew how we were really feeling, it might hurt our careers. We won't get promoted. We'll lose our clients. We might get fired. Judges and lawyers won't respect us. Or we tell ourselves we just don't have time to take care of our own mental or emotional needs. So if we're burned out, we stay burned out. Or we get more burned out. If we're anxious, we stay anxious or get more anxious. If we're depressed, we stay depressed or get more depressed. But that only leads to more suffering. Did you know that more than 60% of lawyers report experiencing anxiety at some point in their careers? Nearly half of all lawyers report depression during their careers. And likewise, nearly half of all lawyers feel isolated or alone at work. Often, in the midst of our struggles, we think no one cares how we're feeling, that no one will understand. But none of us is truly alone. We're all part of the same shared legal community. And so many of our colleagues do understand. So many of us do care. If you've struggled with stress or burnout, anxiety or depression, substance abuse, suicidal thoughts, or anything else that's negatively impacting your emotional or mental well-being, you need to know there are many lawyers in our community who not only understand, but who have been there themselves, who do care about your well-being, and who will be there to help. This year, the CMBA is stepping up our efforts to talk openly and candidly about the emotional and mental health challenges facing our profession. Because no lawyer, no law student, no paralegal, no judge, should ever fear that their career will be harmed simply for taking care of themselves. Because it won't. It won't. It won't. It won't. It's time we come together as a community to recognize. Self-care should be a priority, not a luxury. Asking for help is a sign of strength, not weakness. And caring for each other makes us all stronger. There's no one-size-fits-all solution for improving well-being. So in the year ahead, the CMBA is going to offer a variety of ways for lawyers to take that first step or the next step toward improving your mental or emotional well-being, to find peers who share common ground, to reignite that passion for your career, and for those who want to, to share their own stories, which have so much power to inspire and help our friends and colleagues when they need it most. So come meet us at the bar, where you'll find that we're all in it together.